Hello, good evening. Good evening. Hello, good evening. Hello. Good to see you. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Hello. Okay, welcome. How was your weekend? Tell me. I'm working. Working. Oh my God. That's not fair. No gusto trabajar on weekends. At least you pay the double. As it toca, as it toca. <laughs> okay, for today, we are going to finish section four. And remember, you have to work on the platform because we have a, a deadline. Ya tenemos una fecha fija en la cual debemos terminar la plataforma. You have to complete all the exercise on the platform for next Monday. Okay, próximo lunes ya tendría que tener la plataforma terminada. Gracias a Dios vamos adelantados eh, con el trabajo de, de la plataforma. Así que espero que ya estén por finalizar la section 4 y ya mañana empezar a trabajar section 5 o si ya la empezaron a trabajar, excelente. Okay, because next Monday we have to finish with a grade of 80 or more. Okay, siempre con notas arriba del 80. And we were talking about frequency adverbs, right? Estuvimos hablando acerca de los adverbios de frecuencia. So tell me, um, when we are going to use them. ¿Cuándo vamos a utilizar los frequency adverbs? In which cases? Uh -huh. ¿Cuándo, en qué casos los vamos a utilizar? You don't remember. Hello. No remember, teacher. <laughs> it's loading. Está cargando ahorita. Your the recording of last class. Ni en los apuntes lo encuentro, teacher. <laughs> y está fácil como son frequency adverbs lo vamos a usar para hablar de cosas que se hacen seguido se hacen often y cosas que hacemos regularmente ahí es cuando vamos a utilizar los frequency adverbs ok what else ¿Cuán, para qué más lo vamos a utilizar O en qué posición y, y eh, van en la oración. Después del sujeto. Después. Are you sure? Pretty sure. Yes. Okay. The rest. Are you agree? ¿Los demás están de acuerdo? Después del verbo, dice la compañera. Después del sujeto. Después del sujeto. Ah, después del sujeto, dije. De... Well, yes, after the subject, 
but the most important to remember is before the verb, antes del verbo. Okay, it has to be between, between the subject and the verb. Okay, esa sería la, la posición correcta. Antes del verbo. Only eh, when we use, que no vimos ejemplos de ese. When we use verb to be, ahí sí es una posición diferente. But, ahorita le, le voy a mandar una... Una información, and you can read it at home. Okay, this is more detailed information. ¿Por qué no está en el manual y qué le va a servir? Para que puedan. Porque solo vimos un tipo de oración que era la positive statement. But, eh, for example, in negative statements and in questions, okay, what will be the position of, of the adverb of frequency? So I'm going to send you the, this link and you can read the information here. Okay, we have definition, rules, and examples. Okay, these are the most common. Creo que esta fue la, la parte que, que les mostré en la presentación. Okay, the most common frequency adverbs. Uh, aquí, aquí nos aparecen both or two options. Okay, normally and generally. Often and frequently. Here we have some examples. And uh, okay, here we have more examples. And this is an example using the verb to be. He is. He is always ready to take on heavy, uh, heavy responsibilities. Okay, but in this case, this sentence has two verbs. The verb to be and the main verb in this case, which is take, take. Ese sería el verbo principal. Entonces, en este caso, it has to be before the main verb. Okay? Antes siempre del verbo principal. Y el verb to be nos quedaría como un verbo secundario o un, un verbo auxiliar. Okay? He is always ready to take. To take, to take on heavy heavy responsibilities okay, we usually go to restaurant on sundays okay a routine una rutina algo que se hace every sunday okay usually i communicate with him regularly by letter i don't normally take my holiday in midsummer they often went uh, caroling at Christmas. Okay, in this case, we have a negative statement here. I don't normally take. Eh, lo, in, lo vamos a posicionar siempre before the verb. Okay, I don't, the auxiliary with the negative form, normally take my holiday in midsummer. Okay, sometimes I just need someone to talk to. Occasionally, Alice will look up from her books. Rarely have I seen such a scene. Okay, in this case, this is not simple present. Esta no sería simple present tense. Okay. Opportunity seldom knocks twice. He never turned up. Y luego tenemos también eh, este tipo de, de, de adverbs que también se los había mostrado en la presentación. Okay. O oh, creo que, I don't remember. Que eran 
para hablar más de, de periods of time, de periodos de tiempo. Okay, for example, weekly, monthly, annually, okay, every day, every week, every month, and daily, okay, periods of time, periods of time. Que también en este caso se, to se tomarían para como frequency adverbs porque estamos hablando de o nos hacen referencia a la cantidad de veces que se realiza una actividad. Ok, and this is for exact information. They typically answer the question how often, que es lo que les decía también, que nos responde esta pregunta de cuán a menudo. And often appear at the end of the sentence. Y por lo general van al final de la oración. Okay, ahí están los examples. Every employee pays taxes yearly. She drinks coffee every day. The nurse checks the patient every hour. He visits his grandparents weekly. Okay, and um, okay, do, there have to be at the end of the sentence or at the beginning of the sentence, separating by, by commas. Okay, también podría ser al inicio, but you have to add the comma. This in este caso haría more emphasis, para hacer más emphasis. To emphasize something. Okay. I'm going to send you. Here we have the rules. Also. Dice que la mayoría. Most adverbs come before the verb. Okay. Sometimes watch. Never it's Always read. Rarely watch. Then. Uh, use adverbs of frequency. After these five forms of B. Para el caso de que sean estas formas del verbo to be, dice que si sí va a ir después del verbo. Okay, after the verb to be in all of these forms. I am always, she is usually, she is always, you are seldom. Okay, in this case, because it's the verb to be, will be the first one. And then the frequency up. Okay, when a verb has a helping verb, lo que decíamos de cuando tenemos dos verbos en la oración, the adverb goes after the first part of the verb. Okay, iría después, dice, de la primera parte del verbo. O después de que usemos el auxiliary verb. Okay, drivers should, okay, this is an auxiliary verb, should always wear. Y este sería el main verb, wear. A seatbelt. Richard doesn't usually smoke. Okay, y acá como tenemos nuestro auxiliar, iría first the auxiliary with the negative form and then the frequency adverb and the main verb. Okay, sometimes we use frequency adverbs at the beginning of the sentence. Okay, dice que si se puede, but sometimes. Sometimes we use frequency adverbs at the end and some mistakes to avoid with adverbs of frequency. Y ahí están. So let me... Then I send you to read it. Okay. Let's do the exercise on the platform. Questions? No. And the homework? Do you have the homework? Did you do the homework? 
Okay, mis alumnos responsables, let me listen to your sentences. You did the homework, right? Si le hicieron la, la tarea, ¿verdad? Yes or no? No, 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 dijo nada. Really? Nah. Busque, busque. No había homework. Ok, Wilfredo. So no homework? No había. Hicimos los ejemplos. Que yo acá. recuerde, no. Really? Okay. I'm going to trust you. Voy a confiar en ustedes. No dejó porque jugamos. Ah. Mm. Okay. Really? No. Okay, probably. Ahí le dimos ejemplos en la clase. But some of them, solo algunos. Y le dije, no, hay que hacer más. Ya me lo dije. Vaya, but for tomorrow, yes. Por si no les había dicho. Okay, and the conversation, we did this conversation. Yes. Fish for breakfast. Yes, right. And so here we have the exercise on the platform. It's 4.9. Okay, unscramble the sentences. They are in disorder and you have to order. Okay, I never have breakfast on weekends. Number one. Damaris. Yes, yeah. Ah. Damaris. Creo que sería. Oh, pero me confundí. Vi la primera. Mm -hmm. Yes, this one. I have been ever. Mm -hmm. It. Um, yes. A snack at work. Excellent. Okay. Number two, Lydia. Good evening. Good evening. I, I sometimes eat, eat pasta for dinner. Okay. Excellent. Number three, Israel. 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 Okay, Jacqueline. Number three. Um, sería I I have I have diner. No, I, I, I have often diner my family, with my family. With my family. Okay, primero dijimos que íbamos a poner el 
frequency adverb y después el verbo. Sería, I often have dinner with my family. Yes, I often have. Often, primero de frequency adverb, and then have, que sería el verbo. Okay, I often have dinner with my family. Okay. And on the manual, we have one more exercise. This one. Okay, you have to put the adverb in the correct place. What do you usually have for breakfast? Okay, aquí nos pone cuál es el adverb. Okay, Carla, no. Next. Well. Carla Lorena. Jasmine Elizabeth. Alexis. Sí, chera, aquí estoy. Eh. Me siento un poquito malita, pero. Okay. Aquí estoy. Ok. Ajá. La número dos. Eh, where I S que lo I y vamos, vamos a incluir el, el adverbio often I get of si dijimos que lo íbamos a poner antes del verbo ah sería entonces I ever no Sí, I ever. No, often es el after. Ah, ah, cierto. I often eat. I often. Es que estamos en el dos aquí. Ah, sorry. Yo veía el dos de abajo del B. Ah, sería. Well, I of, of, often. Mm -hmm. Coffee, I often have coffee, cereal, and juice. Yes, correct. Thank you. Okay, next. Liliana. Do you... Okay, yes. Do you, do you ever eat breakfast at work? Do you ever eat breakfast at work? Okay, yes, thank you. Next, Liliana, para ver si ya se acordó. <laughs> eh, sometimes I have breakfast at my desk. Okay, yes, correct. Next, por aquí vamos. Y... Catherine Alejandra. Gabriela María. María Luz Elizabeth. Catherine Xiomara. Este, no sé si estoy en lo cierto, sería no 
have already ever I am right. No, I hardly ever have rice. Yes. Esa sería la última. Uh -huh. Correct. No, I hardly ever have rice. Ok. Y la antepenúltima que sería la que nos falta. Eh, Esa sería, uh -huh. do you eat usually rice for breakfast? Do you eat usually? ¿Segura? No, do you... Do you uh, <laughs> do you usually do you usually eat rice for breakfast? Mm -hmm. Yes, correct. Do you usually eat rice for breakfast? Okay. Yes. And We... Okay, now let's do this exercise. Okay, you have to order the adverbs for, from 100% to 0%. So the first one will be the frequency adverb that express that you do something 100% of the times. Okay. Okay, number one, first one, what will be? No se ve, teacher. No se ve. Bueno, no sé qué es lo que nos está presentando, pero si seguimos viendo el módulo. Está bien, así como. Sorry. Ok, hoy sí. Hoy sí. Sí. Okay, number one. Always. Always. Number two. Usually. Usually. Three. Summer time. Constantly. Constantly. Okay. Four. Time. Sometimes. Sometimes. Fifth, hardly ever. Hardly ever. And never. Never. And let's check. Okay. We have some incorrect. So let's try again. Okay, we have two incorrect. Okay, number one. Number one. Always. 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 Number two. Usual. Are you sure? Constantly. Oh, All right. Constantly. Y no fue así como las hicimos. Sí, eso habíamos puesto. Remember, we yeah, had two, two incorrect. Two, uh, sometime. Sometime. Hmm. Sometimes it's 50% of the times. Uh, constantly. Uh, in, constantly. A in a dose, usually. It usually. Constantly. Usually or constantly? Constantly. <laughs> usually, we have put puesto.
Okay, number three. Usually. Number four. Sometimes. Sometimes. Five. Four. And six. No. Okay, are you sure? Yes. Okay. Yes, correct. Okay, and now I'm going to send you this link. Voy a hacer los mandé. All right. You can read it at home and he read for more detailed information. Ahí hay información más detallada siempre de los frequency adverbs. Okay, ahí está el cuadrito. Here we have examples. Y luego tenemos a los adverbs of definite frequency, que okay, los que nos, de, nos definen la frecuencia como más exactamente. Oh, okay. eh, Después tenemos los que son como de manera general, de indefinite frequency, que okay, son como más generales. And uh, aquí están los porcentajes de cada uno de ellos. Then you have the rules. De eh, dónde los vamos a poner, cómo los vamos a escribir. Que okay, dice que la mayoría va before the verb. Antes del verbo, sometimes watch, never eats, always read, rarely watch. Okay, but rule number two says um, que cuando tenemos el verb to be en cualquiera de estas formas, it has to be after the verb to be. Entonces, primero iría el verb to be en cualquiera de estas presentaciones, and then the frequency of. Okay, I am always, she is usually, she is always, you are seldom. Okay, verb to be first and then frequency adverb. Okay, number, rule number three. Cuando tenemos un helping verb, un verbo auxiliar. Okay, lo vamos a poner, well. When we have an auxiliary verb, it means that we have a main verb, que tenemos también un verbo principal. Okay, y siempre nuestro frequency adverb iría before the main verb, antes del verbo principal, o sea, después del verbo auxiliar. Y aquí aplicaría o entraría the negative statements. Como aquí utilizamos un auxiliar en negativo para hacer nuestra oración negativa. Entonces, eh, nuestro auxiliar negativo iría primero, luego de um, frequency adverb, and then the main verb, y luego el verbo principal. Then the rule number four, we use frequency adverbs at the beginning of the sentence. Que okay, nosotros eh, dice que eh, este se puede utilizar algunas veces. Bueno, algunos, no, no solo sometimes, dice que a veces se pueden utilizar at the beginning. Y esto sería como a, para hacer más énfasis, to emphasize something. Okay, or at the end, but sometimes. 
o sea, no es como lo normal, ni, ni siempre, pero sí se puede a veces. Ok, hay algunos errores y cómo poder evitarlos. Ok, questions. No questions. Hello. Okay, pregunten si tienen preguntas, please. No. No question. Okay, thank you. Los demás. Y después, no digo. Y en Spanish, les estoy preguntando. No, no les pregunté. ¿Preguntas? Sí, sí, sí. ¿Preguntas? Ok. Yes. Eso es, o sea, es como lo que ya habíamos hecho en la práctica, pero ahí está la teoría. Que okay, sometimes... It's easiest to remember something that you read than something that you listen. O si, digamos, lo escucha y lo lee, you listen in the class. And you read at home, it will be a best um, keep in your mind. O sea, como que les queda a algunos más fácilmente de esa manera. Okay, let's do the reading. Yes. Eh, una pregunta. Uh -huh. eh, eso se lo utilizan, eso ya lo entendí, que se utiliza antes, de, antes del verbo, pero es en el tiempo presente. Sí. Yes, correct. Entonces, ahí decía... Eh, y en otro tiempo... Siempre iría antes del verbo. Eh, ¿Se pueden utilizar? Sí. Siempre se, serían antes del verbo. Sí, se pueden utilizar en otros tiempos también, solo que no es muy común, como decía ahí. O sea, no es que no se pueda, sí se puede, but it's not too common. Porque la Pero misma... No, no es como... No, eh, es co perdón, eh, esos adverbios no son utilizados en otros tiempos así tan frecuentes como en el presente simple, ¿verdad? Yes, Eso correct. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, correct, así es. Entonces, That's en it. la mayoría de veces es en simple present por la mi lo mismo que habíamos visto de cuándo vamos a utilizar el simple present que lo vamos a utilizar cuando estamos hablando de rutinas, cosas que hacemos regularmente. Entonces, obviamente, por esa razón, la mayoría de veces los frequency adverbs van a ir en tiempo presente simple. Pero no siempre. O sea, de vez en cuando vamos a ver algunas oraciones que no están en presente simple. Por ejemplo, yo les decía la, la de have you ever. Que okay, have you ever. Ese ya no es simple present, pero ahí estamos hablando de experiencias, cosas que usted ya experimentó o, o cuando las experimentó por primera vez. Entonces, have you ever uh, fly in a plane? Entonces, ya ese es, es otro tiempo. Pero como les repito, lo más común es simple present. Pero sí se puede en otros tiempos también. Ok, this is the reading.
Hi everyone. In this class you'll read an article of Hi everyone. In this class you'll read an article about Hi everyone. In this class you will also develop skills in scanning and reading for details. On New Year's Day, many people eat special foods for good luck in the new year. Some Chinese people eat tangerines. Tangerines are round. Round foods end and begin again, like years. It is a Jewish custom to eat apples with honey for a sweet new year. Greeks eat vasilopita, bread with a coin inside. Everyone tries to find the coin for luck and money in the new year. In Spain and some Latin American countries, people eat 12 grapes at midnight on New Year's Eve. One grape for good luck in each month of the new year. On New Year's Day in Japan, people eat mochi, rice cakes, for strength in the new year. Some Americans from southern states eat black-eyed peas and rice with colored greens. The black-eyed peas are like coins, and the greens are like dollars. Okay, questions in this part. Okay, let me show you. The reading. Preguntas? No. It's clear the reading, vocabulary questions. Okay. Okay. The what what words, Wilfredo? De qué palabras? Tangerines. Tangerines. Custom. Okay, custom. It's like a tradition. That's a custom, a tradition. Most of the times, a religion tradition or something that um, mm -hmm. it's always done in the same way. That's a custom. For example, here in El Salvador, it's a custom that every... Mm. Let me see. November second, but ah yes. Every November second, people visiting the the tombs. Okay, and give flowers to their their families that are no longer on earth but also it's a custom to eat hojuelas okay and with honey that's a custom greeks son los griegos 
bricks. Jewish, los judíos. The Jewish. Okay. Let's answer the questions. Basilotopia is the name of the bread. Ese, digamos que no tiene una traducción literal. Only it's the special name of, of the bread. Okay, read the article and select the word that complete the sentence. Some Chinese people eat tangerines. Tangerines are the answer. Hello. Number one, are round, sweet, or acid? Round. round. Yes, round like gears. Number two, some Jewish people eat apples with honey for a sweet New Year's. Yes, for a sweet year. Number three, Greeks eat basilopita bread with a coin inside. A coin. Menos mal que solo una. A coin inside. Number four. In, people eat 12 grapes. Spain. In Spain, correct. People eat 12 grapes for good luck in the new year. The Japanese eat mochi rice cake. Okay. Mochi, okay, mochi. It's rice cake for a strain in the new year. What is the meaning of this word, a strain? Esa no me la preguntaron. So you know. Fuerza? Yes. Strength in the new year. And six, some Americans eat black eyed peas. Black eyed peas are like Rice with color greens. Mm, money, dollars, or coins? Coin. Coins. Okay. And what is the meaning of black eyed peas? ¿Cuál es el significado que son las black eyed peas? Frijoles negros. Oh, mm. No. Are you sure? They no. are not black. But you are close. Oh. 
Okay. The Black Eyed Peas no son solamente el grupo musical, sino que eh, they are like the white beans en este caso. Serían como los frijoles blancos que conocemos nosotros. This one. Okay, those are the black eyed peas. It, they they look very similar to the white beans, the frijoles blancos. Okay, and Okay, look, hasta la forma, digamos, en la que vienen las, this one, this, la, las vainas. Okay, so probably they are, they are like white beans. The same could be different, but not, not too different. Okay. Now we are going to make the reading, but with some of you. Some of you are going to read. I'm sorry. No les mostré la que era. Que no me dice, hombre. Okay. These are the black eyed peas. Ahí están lo de las vainas. Okay, here we have, they, they are pretty similar, pretty similar. Okay. Okay, Mauricio, start with the reading, please. Which Some one? with the first one. Some Chinese people eat tangerines. Tangerines are round, round foods and, and begin again light years. Okay, thank you. In Chinese, Chinese. Okay, Edwin, continue. Uh, yes. Okay. It's a, it is a Jewish custom to eat apples with honey for a sweet New Year. Okay, hey, excellent. Thank you. Let's continue with Lydia, the Greeks. Greek eat basilopita, pray with a, a coin in seed, everything. Oh, ¿Cómo se pronuncia esa palabra? Everyone. Everyone tries to pin that coin for look and money in the new year. Ok, thank you. Y sería to find, to find inside, inside, to find, and for luck, luck. It's almost with an O lock. Okay, next, the grapes. Uh, let's listen to Christian.
Christian. Wilfredo. Um, in, in Spain mm -hmm. and some Latin American countries, people eat 12 grades at midnight on the years. If, um, if one great for a good look in each month of the new year. Okay, thank you. Okay, I volunteer for the next for the mochi. Okay. Oh no, dear. and they in Japan, Japan, people are marching right act for and this thing new new girls. Okay, thank you. Okay, Cecilia, the last one. Some Americans from Southern States eat black ale, peas, and rice with colored greens. The black ale, peas, and rice coins, um, and greens are like dollars. Okay, thank you. Yes. More questions or no? Okay, remember to work on the platform because on Monday they are going to check your grades. They have to be a more than 80%. And also they are checking the, the attendance. Okay, so don't miss the classes. And I think that will be all if you don't have more questions. Tomorrow we are going to start section five because it's missing section five and the midterm. Pero aunque no las terminemos de ver acá, no vamos, no vamos atrasados. ¿verdad? Pero eh, nos lo están pidiendo adelantados por el tiempo en el que estamos. Because it's all be, almost vacations. Entonces, por eso tenemos que ir corriendo un poquito más. So, start working on, on section 5. Okay, section 4 is done. Ya todos terminaron section 4. Finish. Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay. Keep going. Keep working. And if you have uh, questions, bring it to the class. Remember. Okay. So let's see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow, teacher. Okay. Bye-bye. Good night. Bye. Good night. Rest. Bye-bye. Okay, bye-bye. See you tomorrow.